Hi everyone, it's a bit strange to accept this Hall of Honor award in the form of a virtual meeting and quite different from being able to accept it in person standing on a stage which many of you attending this annual celebration. The fact that we are doing this virtually doesn't make me any less honored to receive this prestigious award which as you can see isn't virtual but real. I obviously have a lot of people to thank for this award but let me start by thanking my good friend Donald Goldberg, who nominated me. About 28 years ago, Donald's father, Jay Goldberg, who was inducted in the Hall of Honor in 2009, asked me if he could send his son to Belgium for six months to work for us and to give him a taste of this industry. I know Donald didn't think this was such a great idea the first few weeks. He didn't really enjoy all the things we made him do, like building lift fans, sweeping warehouse floors, or doing a lot of paperwork. To make things easier, he had his friend Mike come over here so he wouldn't be alone amongst all these Belgians. The two of them started enjoying their time here and Donald learned a lot during his stay. I may even go as far as to say that he got addicted to this industry and has since turned his company Gridiron into a great success story. Occasionally, he will remind me that the two of them laid the groundwork for Gosling's growth during the six months that they worked with us. I would especially like to thank the committee for having accepted my nomination and now I'm here on this virtual stage with two incredible people. It's an honor for me to be elected in the company of two former IAM presidents, Georgia Agnell, the first woman president, and Jeff Coleman. Not only do I consider both of them great friends in this industry, but they also have been good and long-term customers of Goslin for several decades. What also makes this special for me is that this isn't the first All of Honor award I have accepted. In 2011, I had the privilege of accepting this award on behalf of Dolph Goslin in memoriam. I owe Dolph so much, he was like a second father to me. And both Dolph and my father Flor were the ones who got me into this industry and gave me the opportunity to grow in this business. They both taught me about all the things you can achieve with hard work. After seven years of working for Dolph, he gave me the chance to take on more responsibility and invest in this business. Becoming a part owner of the second company we founded, Gosling Worldwide Moving. Dolph and I attended our first convention in the US in 1980, at which time the association was still called Household Goods Forwarders of America and it happened in Houston back then. The first of many trips and conventions that created so many opportunities for me and the companies. The stories I could tell would probably go beyond the time allotted. I'm grateful to this association, which eventually became known as the best meeting place in this industry, one where we meet up with customers who usually also become friends. Although IAM has now become a truly international association of movers with more members active in corporate and commercial relocations, it began as the association uniting movers doing business with the US government. I think it is fair to say that our work for the US government has largely built the foundation for Gosling's success. It helped us expand our government business from Belgium into other European countries with US military bases. In late 1994, we won the European CRP contract for the State Department, managed by ELSO in Antwerp, and 25 years later, we are still handling this account. This expansion was made possible because of the trust of our customers, TSPs, and their respective owners. And I would like to thank each and every one of them for their business over the many years. Many of them have become great friends, and as I go through the list of people inducted over the years into this Hall of Honor, I'm obviously proud to be part of this group. None of this would have been possible without the support of my family. My wife Kathy worked with me for many years while we were growing the business and spent countless hours away from home. Thanks also to my father, Flor, who even almost at the age of 91, still comes to the office daily to catch up on the latest news. 
My sister Mia has also been working with the company for over 30 years, initially taking over the accounting work from Dolph's wife and has seen this department grow to over 25 people today. Two of her sons, Jeroen and Chris, and Kathy's niece Bo, also work at the company. So I guess I can say we are still very much a family business, even though we now have a presence in 34 countries with 56 offices and over 800 staff members. Dolph was the person who gave me these opportunities and I'm grateful that I have grown his family business. And I'm also extremely proud that I could gradually take over the company from the Gosselin family after Dolph's passing. None of these things, however, would have been possible without the help and motivation of all the great people working for Gosling and Goflog all these years. The growth that the company has experienced in the last two to three decades would not have been possible without their commitment. These people work at every level of the organization and are dedicated to doing a great job every day. Be it in operations as packers or movers and drivers, or warehousemen, or terminal operators, or on the administrative side as move coordinators, supervisors, managers, or directors, keeping shipments on the right track and customers satisfied. Many of them have been with the company 30 to 40 years, and I even started working with some of them in the 70s. I'm so proud to accept this award on behalf of everyone in the company. They definitely played a great part in our success and growth. And for those of you who have visited our Gosselin headquarters, they know that most of the money we make is reinvested in hard assets that help us provide the best possible service. I would also like to thank our industry partners, agents and suppliers for their services. After all, our service package wouldn't be as complete as it is today without their support. Finally, this association has been very special to me and our company. And I'm happy to see that several of our people are contributing and playing a role in one position or another in this association. There are, however, two people I specifically want to thank for their hard work for this association. Terry Head, the president Emeritus, who was inducted last year when he passed the baton to Chuck, who has big shoes to fill, and the founder of this association, Alan Wallstetter, legal counsel Emeritus. It has been a privilege to work with both of them. Terry and Alan have been special mentors to me over the years, and if there is one accomplishment I'm particularly proud of, it is the creation of the ISA organization. With Alan and Terry's help, and together with George Pesha IV, we were able to establish this Shippers Association over 20 years ago. If I may say so, it's been very valuable for its members. And only this year, it paid a record patronage dividend of $650,000 to its membership. So in conclusion, I've really enjoyed the last 44 years in this industry and I'm not planning to retire yet, so I'm afraid you're stuck with me for a few more years. Thank you again for this prestigious award.